Emergency response personnel and equipment designers require an understanding of the conditions that may exist in a passenger car derailment. Rescuing passengers in a tilted rail car is a challenge, and in order to meet that challenge, the FRA sought a means to provide an environment for both training and research on evacuation procedure and equipment. The FRA formed a partnership with the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, WMATA, and the nation's first rail emergency evacuation simulator was on its way to being built. Funded by the FRA, designed and built by INSCO Incorporated, and located and maintained at WMATA's Emergency Response Training Facility in Landover, Maryland, the rollover rig is the only one of its kind in the United States. The WMATA Training Facility, located at the Carmen E. Turner Training and Maintenance Facility, was created to train fire, rescue, police, emergency, and transit personnel. It includes a full-scale replica of a subway tunnel, giving trainees an authentic yet controlled training environment. It now includes the nation's first and only passenger rail car evacuation simulator. Based on a concept developed and built by Serco of the United Kingdom, the U.S. rollover rig had to address specific issues for weight and space. Thus, INSCO designed the simulator to roll in place. The system uses three custom-made steel hoops, a push-pull winch, and specially designed polyurethane rollers mounted to custom foundations, all designed to cope with the heavy load of 82,000 pounds. New Jersey Transit donated a retired Comet 1 commuter rail car for the simulator. The simulator was built over a period of 18 months. The rollover rig can be rotated in 10 degree increments up to 180 degrees. It can be turned fairly rapidly to reach 180 degrees in two and one half minutes and then locked in place. The FRA will use the simulator to evaluate interior design safety of inner city and commuter passenger rail cars to better protect occupants during an incident. The simulator will provide a means to evaluate levels of emergency lighting, types of signs, emergency windows and doors, and other factors affecting egress time. Metro, which shares 33 miles of common corridor rights of way with MARC, VRE, and Amtrak, will use the rig to help train fire, police, and other first responders on the complications associated with a rail car on its side. The simulator is available anytime to fire, police, and rescue departments. Several individuals and organizations contributed to the successful construction of the FRA evacuation simulator. The FRA Office of Research and Development funded the project. The FRA Office of Safety and the Volpe Center provided technical advice. WMATA provided the site, New Jersey Transit contributed the rail car, and INSCO Incorporated provided technical expertise in design and construction. Such a partnership means safer passenger rail for the nation.